Hey everyone, this is IK Grande with Demystifying Gay Porn. I wanted to thank you very much for listening to the Demystifying Gay Porn podcast, available wherever you get your podcast, as well as YouTube, where you can watch our interviews, click the like button, click the subscribe button, you can click the bell notification so that way you know exactly when we're uploading new stuff. And as always, I encourage you to leave questions, comments, insult, whatever be the case. Just remember to click subscribe. Thank you. Welcome to another episode of Demystifying Gay Porn. My name is I.K. Grande, and if you watch gay porn, I've definitely helped you get off. Seba- Sebastian Velmont. That's me. I know. <laughs> How have you been? Oh, I've been great. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's been way too long. How, uh, when was the first time? Well, I think it was 2018 that we worked together. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in Florida. Oh, the good old Florida day. Yeah. <laughs> have you been back to Florida since? Um, yeah, I have. Yeah. You you are based out of Chicago. Yes, I kind of live in Chicago. Okay, well, you live in Chicago, but you have an English, a British it, accent. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so where's the British? I don't want to ask where the British accent's from, but are you? Um, yeah, I'm English. Yes. Okay, so you're English. <laughs> what well, by whereabouts? I'm from Richmond. Okay. It's like southwest of London. And how was that growing up? Uh, easy. Easy, yeah. yeah. I'm the only child, so. Oh, okay. So you you were. I'm, I'm spoiled. I was gonna say you were given a lot of attention. <laughs> I was given a lot. <laughs> So, um, when did you, when did you move to the States? Um, on my own, officially like 2017. Okay. Kind of. No, cause I, I went to college here, but then I moved back and then I came back as an adult. <laughs> okay. And did you like it here? Is that why you came back? Yeah. Much better than, than no. Britain? <laughs> oh, really? Okay. So tell me about that. Like you'd rather live in Britain or... Oh, yeah, that's home. <laughs> you okay? So, uh, um, here I'm just I make a lot of money. So. <laughs> yeah, okay, I see, I see. Yeah, right. I like money. And how are you making a lot of money? Um, by fucking everybody in the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's that's <laughs> modest, but it's true, actually. I you, we were just talking about it before. Your uh, your grinder and your you're on Rentman. Your rent men, I'm sure your fan sites are going off with models that want to work with you. Your Twitter's blowing up. Um, yeah, so what's what's going on? How busy? You've been here for what, for two weeks? Two weeks. Okay, and how's, how's business? It's booming. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's way too busy. And I was like, I came here with no schedule. So, and I ended up with the schedule. Yeah, okay. Um, how, uh, how has New York been treating you? How, how are the people, the clientele in, in New York treating you? Great, except for today. But great. <laughs> today? Why? What happened? Um, I had like one of those clients contact me and then he tried to change my rate and I was like, uh, uh, nope, not yeah. happening. Sorry. Try yeah. again. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I'm no amateur. Yeah. <laughs> I know these games. I've been so, doing this for a long time. <laughs> so, so you've been, escorting is first and foremost. Is that where you started? Uh, no. I think so. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I've always been into older men. Okay. And they've always given me money. <laughs> okay. Well, that's always good. So I guess that's how it started. So I, when I you really call it escorting, I just called it like. Oh, well. uh, okay. So like a daddy, you had a daddy. <laughs> too many. <laughs> <laughs> too many of other people's daddies too, right? <laughs> um, when uh, when you say you're into dad, like you're into daddies, you're that's yeah. like your thing, like. Yeah, it was one of my things. Well, it kind of still is, but yeah, I've always been into people older than me like you could be one year older than me i'm into you ah okay so it doesn't necessarily mean like 30 years no okay just like, I don't know. what about people younger than you eh. <laughs> even if they're one year younger than you sometimes okay yeah I know. well i'm sure when it like i'm sure you've had cl- um clients that are probably wealthy and just you know yeah. Younger with a, a card or daddy and mommy's money that were like, hey. Yeah. Um, I think it was uh, a few days ago, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I really? had a client who turned out to be 23. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, owned his own business and everything. And just, like, filthy rich. And I'm like, you're 23. <laughs> I know. I know. Isn't that crazy sometimes? <laughs> it's like, you, you want to pay me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
like it turns out he like one of those closest straight boys who has a girlfriend and all oh, that. Oh, okay. And goes on Red Man and gets boys. <laughs> yeah, and gets gets plowed. I'm assuming. I mean, if you're hearing this story, <laughs> I just told your story. <laughs> it, it, no names revealed though. No, no names. names here. <laughs> so, so tell me about um, tell me about growing up. Uh, tell me about hitting puberty because I mean, for listeners who who don't know. Uh, and are about to when they see your pictures and when they look you up. Uh, and I showed my boyfriend the other day. I'm like, oh, I'm going to work with this guy, Sebastian. I've worked with him before. I'm like, take a look. And he's like, Jesus. <laughs> so for people that don't know, what was it like growing up and, you know, going through puberty? Uh, and being like, holy shit. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I knew I was probably bigger than a lot of people when I was like 10. Like, uh, ten. Yeah, so like eight inches and nine when I was ten. Holy crap! Okay, so ten. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Did you go through puberty early yeah, or kind of okay? Went through. Except I didn't grow any taller. But <laughs> like, I mean, come on. I mean, you were you were feeding. And, you were uh, providing yeah, nutrients yeah, with the hair. Was growing. <laughs> like I had armpit hairs and pubic hairs and facial hair. And I was like, I'm growing, growing up. <laughs> were you gay growing up? Oh yeah. I okay. I had a closet. So you were, you've never been in a closet. Okay. That's always cool. Yeah. What was your first sexual experience like? Did you, is he still alive? Did you destroy him? <laughs> Did you destroy him? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was not good for yeah. sex because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, yeah. I mean, come on. At what, 13? What, what was your first sexual experience actually? What year? And I was, I was 12 and I started having sex. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, come on, twelve. Yeah, what do you really know? Did you have? Did you watch porn growing up? Yeah. Okay. A lot of it. <laughs> so you kind of had an idea, but you know, kind of, kind of like everybody, I you didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. Okay. It's like I stick this in there. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they told me. <laughs> Make sure I put a condom on. <laughs> yeah. What kind of porn did you watch growing up? Um, it was a lot of bareback porn, actually. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Because you were never in a closet. You watched. You were. Yeah, you was, were exposed to I just gay porn. Okay. I mean, always knew I, I like boys. I would go to my parents and be like, "I have a crush on this boy." <laughs> They'd be like, "Who?" <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's no, pretty I'm cool. I'm a daddy's boy, so I told. I think I told him first. But I was like, "I'm gay," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> oh well, that's good. Yeah, I don't really have a coming out story. It's very boring. That's no, please. But the thing too is, not a lot of people have these stories too. So, yeah. you know, they they could be sad, but they also can be positive. So that's always fun. Um, what, what if any fetishes and kinks have you developed, or do you find uh, get you off? I mean, we we talked a little bit about daddies, but uh, my fetishes was more like I don't know I could eat ass for like hours and come from that. Okay, and I like to fist. Oh, okay. I didn't know you got into fisting. I've been into fisting. You have? Okay. Just nobody shoots it. I just do it on my own. Oh, crap. All right. So then, you know, um, we're going to have to make that happen, too. Yeah. I'm going to need to cut my nails. I've been, I've been talking to um, uh, Treasure Island about it because they have, you know, they have a suck site. They have the solo sites. Um, they have the fuck site. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they call them Tim Fuck, Tim Suck. I'm like, Tim Fist, it's perfect. And Max is a, a little hesitant about it because, you know, he's head of production, so it falls under him. Um, but I think I think it'd be really cool to have, like, a Tim Fist site. Yeah, fisting kind of went away for a while. Not that it went away, but yeah. people were like, eh. And now, it, and now it's coming back up. It's coming back. Uh, it's, being, it's trending, let's say. I think the reason I've never filmed with Tim anything is because I always thought it was, like, part of Tim Tales. Oh, okay when I had that drama with him. <laughs> oh, you know, a lot of people think that, actually. Uh, Tim Tails is yeah. uh, Tim Kruger, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Tim uh, yeah, not not affiliated with... I was like, I never contact anything yeah. oh, related. Oh, okay, okay. Cause like, yeah. Because me and Tim had a falling out. Okay. I was just like, mm, I don't want anything associated with you. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely not associated with him. We are Tim, <laughs> Tim Fuck, Tim Suck, uh, Tim Jack, which is a solo site. Um, we have Latin loads, we have brother load, we have, we pretty, they pretty much, they put everything, mm -hmm. they have every single genre, let's just say. 
uh, they even have <laughs> they have a website called Knocked Out Jerked Off. I don't know, and it's that whole you know sleep fantasy and stuff. Borderline rapish. I'm not gonna lie. Like to the point where I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna shoot for that site. Like <laughs> you can have somebody else shoot for that. So I mean, that's happened to me plenty of times. <laughs> yeah, well, I can only imagine. Yeah, I think we we all have one of those. You know, for I fell asleep and somebody's been touching me. Story. I, that's yeah. I I feel like that's probably where I developed um, that big brother little brother uh fetish because that's something that i'm i've noticed that i'm into you know like i kind of like guys that are a little older or a little younger if anything mm -hmm. um so tell me about your fan site tell me about your twitter popularity just in general your popularity in general because i know i know you know it's there like you, you can't deny it so uh tell me tell me how it started and how it makes you feel well, look, here's the story. <laughs> <laughs> so I started posting videos on Xtube. And then I was just doing that for fun. I was like, why not? I have like all these videos and people keep asking me to make videos with them. So I was like, okay, I'll just post it somewhere. So I started posting on Xtube. And then that blew up really fast. So I was Google following from there. And then I got really X2 famous. <laughs> And then X2 started to contact me about making money and all that. And I was like, eh, I don't really know about all that. I just do this for fun. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't have a Twitter at the time. And people were telling me my videos are going on to Twitter. Oh. So I had to create a Twitter account and then find all these videos and claim them as mine. <laughs> Jeez. And then that's when porn studios started to pop up and offer me money. <laughs> okay. How did that feel? I was like, Sure, I like money. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I could use a lot. <laughs> so then from porn, did you, is that when you kind of made an account for uh, Rent Man or... Um, yeah. Okay, so escorting came from porn. Yeah. Okay. I was like, if I'm going, since I have this title, and most like use it, mm -hmm. and make more money. Yeah. And everybody's like, why not use Rent Man? Everybody's trying to hire porn stars. I'm like, well... True. <laughs> yeah. So then how, um, from there you've, you have, I'm assuming you're on a fan site, you're on like only yeah, fans or just for fans. fans. Just fans. How, uh, what is it like being a content producer now? It's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot so, more. Yeah. To like edit my own videos. <laughs> and that's like, it's a lot. Contacting models. You have to like, you know, put too. something together. Put yeah. Something it's, together. It's a product. You guys are, you know, production studios on your own now. Yeah. Yeah. You have to I put mean, it's it. Fun, yeah. It's and like, all the money goes to you. Yeah, right? And it's in my control. Yes. But still. Yeah. I just want other people to do the editing for me. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel you. <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm going to hire an assistant. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, from the fan sites, um, what else have you been doing? I know, I know that you said you're uh, a dancer as well. Is that is that your first love? No. I mean, because I've growing up I've tried a lot of different things I'm like multi-talented because I only had myself to entertain yeah yeah so there was dancing I did ballet for a, a while and I got into um, hip-hop and um, a lot of traditional dancing mm -hmm. and then I became a go-go dancer a lot, a lot. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I did. Oh, you were classically trained. <laughs> you know, I'm sure you brought a lot of grace to the <laughs> to the dance stage, you know? Yeah, I know how to move my bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, I have a segment on this podcast that I call uh, Big Dick Problems. I was going to say, I'm sure you have a couple. <laughs> what would you say is your biggest big dick problem? Um, you know, it can be uh, going to the bathroom. I think Antonio Biagi mentioned something about going to the bathroom and, you know, his dick always touching the water and you know, having to pick it up and put it on the side. Uh, yeah, so everybody has like this um, one yeah, story. I have that when I sit down on the toilet, I have to like hold it up. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you have to hold it up. Yeah. What What's something that you, um, something that you go through on a daily, let's say, that at this point is like, oh yeah, you know, you just. I don't know, everybody looking at my bulge. <laughs> okay, so you, so that's, you can't hide it. Oh, I can't hide it. Okay. So you're walking around, people yeah. are just like, holy shit. Because my clothes are tight and everything is 
Yeah. Ba, 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 boom, well, it was <laughs> probably, it was one of the first things I noticed that you can't really, <laughs> okay. yeah. I, when I saw you, I was like, oh God, it's right there. You know, <laughs> Even if it's clothed, you know, <laughs> you know, it's right there in front of you. I was like, parents can't hide it. So just... I can only imagine. You can't, you probably cannot go without underwear, right? Yeah. If you're out in public, like you're just going to be I, swinging around. And I only wear Andrew Christian, so. Okay. What, what happens... I'm, I'm sure you've gotten excited in public. Yeah. yeah. How do you? How does one go about hiding something like that? I don't. <laughs> you don't. Okay. So it's, just, it's there. Yeah. It you're like, hey, whatever. Like, you know. Look at it. Great. <laughs> it's kind of like having, you know, like a dog. It's kind of like one of those, yeah. you know. Does it? Does it bring men to you? Yeah. People it, stop me on the streets. Yeah. So. Or they would say something on the streets as I'm walking by. Say something about my balls and my big dick. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yeah, that's there. Yeah. <laughs> that's there. right. Take a number. <laughs> Take a number. At the, yeah. At this point, how does how does it feel to you? Like, do you um do you find it a do you find it not only a blessing but also a pain in the ass? No pun. Yeah. Blessing and a curse. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Which fired me. I, I knew what I was getting myself into when it grew. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh boy, this is gonna be this is gonna be something. <laughs> yeah, because in high school, um, a rumor spread around about my dick, so, so everybody knew. <laughs> really, but in a you in would a think, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you would think, yeah. Did were you ashamed? I don't know. Okay, you were good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I was popular in high school. I was like one of the popular guys. Just, I can I can see why. I mean, they wanted to mess with me, and because one, I had everybody's secrets. I had everybody straight dick in my mouth. So, <laughs> and you didn't want me to tell people because yeah. you know, I would <laughs> yeah. if you mess with me. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was very chill in high school, and I was a pothead in high school too. So that's very cool. <laughs> Do you still smoke? No, one. I, occasionally if I'm drunk mm -hmm. <laughs> or socially smoking pot with friends. That's it. Okay. You're doing your fan sites. You're doing uh, porn studios. What other porn studios have you worked with? Let's see. Raw Fuck Club, Raw Strokes, Breed It Raw, or Raw City Twinks. Uh, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. I, there's probably more, but. <laughs> yeah. I was just curious, um, what do you, do you like working for studios more than for yourself or for fan sites or do you oh, enjoy okay. them equally or? Oh, I enjoy them equally. Okay. I mean, I haven't had any bad experience with working with any studios. Yeah, yet. that's good. Besides the Tim Dell thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That never even happened. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to talk more about it, but let's not give him publicity. <laughs> if it's not a good thing, let's... No, because I still want my apology. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, if you're owed an apology, I can, I can, I can only imagine. What do you want to do next? Like, what are you, what are you working on? What, what's, what's important to you? myself yeah you know? you're having a good time yeah having a good time okay putting out good content and i made a lot this week so yeah i can imagine i was a little worried too i was like oh you know if i get him during the end of the week i hope he's not all sexed out and shit but nah. you've yeah I, yeah I, you I, I think you know better than that you'd be like yeah. eh. because I, I pick and choose okay i'm very yeah like, i know myself if i'm not gonna have sex i'm not gonna have yeah because because one thing that i've um I've always stressed, uh, especially to um, models and escorts and stuff, is um, I can only make you look as good as I can. Mm -hmm. If you come and you're like spent, people are gonna see it, and you know it's 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 gonna suck because a we'll get a scene that's not amazing, mm -hmm. but then you know people are gonna be like, well, why wasn't it amazing? It's not my fault. It's because you know I've I've had people come in and they met a client like to a client or two and they came with the client and and you know we're sitting there for two hours trying to get a cum shot and that kind of sucks <laughs> exactly you know like I had a client yesterday and i didn't come oh well <laughs> there you go yeah no i i know a lot of people that <laughs> have gotten so seasoned with how they um they work mm -hmm. That they basically just get their client off and then they're good to go. The client's yeah, perfectly happy with that. Always like, 
especially with me, because if I'm not really interested in a client, I'm going to pound you so hard that you're going to want to come yeah. and tap out. But then you're going to be like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and I do that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> on, on an average. And I never really come with clients most of the time. So, <laughs> so quick question. On, uh, off the top of your head, how many people do you think you've you fucked? <laughs> total. <laughs> yeah, total. Why not? Let's. Probably like thousands. Thousands, huh? Okay. Um, Three thousand plus. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay. No. Hey. I've been fucking for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, that's all I know how to do. Yeah, that's that's There's pretty a, cool. A lot of bottoms everywhere to satisfy. So. Oh yeah, and, and if you move to New York, you'll find nothing but bottoms. It's it's amazing. Well, just been here for two weeks already. Never found it. Figured that out. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You tops are like unicorns. That's why whenever I like when my grinder hitting I up. Literally have like right now. I've like. 50 something messages and jeez since we've been here right because i'm sure you've been checking i haven't even been getting on grinder okay like, i'll open it and just scroll and then close it <laughs> and what do you see like just when is the first picture you see like a big ass like hey how you doing you know like, I, don't even, I, don't, I don't even i haven't even opened most of them yeah <laughs> and then i'll probably just scan if he's cute or whatever mm -hmm. and i was like oh, maybe but then it's like oh i have a shoot the next day so probably not because they were Always, apparently they just want to fuck all the time at night. Yeah. And it's like, what's, what's, what, why not the morning or the afternoon? Mm. Or, you know. Yeah, well, quick question. What, because um, we touched on this before the cameras were on and the uh, mics were on, but um, is it easy for you to separate uh, clients and having sex for studio work and... Like, for instance, if you find somebody on Grindr that you're like, oh, he's, you know, he's hot. I kind of want to sleep with him. Yeah. Yeah? How, how is it, like, is it, is it hard to do or is I mean, it? It's very easy for me. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm picky. Yeah, okay. At the same time. So, yeah. It's like, when it comes to just regular sex, I know what I'm looking for. Okay. And I know what I go for. And then, you know, with studio and filming, it's basically just hand it to me. Mm -hmm. So, I don't really have to worry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I, I think that uh, working like that is, is good. I want somebody that you're going to be attracted to, so that way it looks the best, you know? Some studios just, you know, give you whoever, and they just, you know, cross their fingers and see and hope it yeah. goes well, but... I mean, there's one studio that I thought it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one scene. It mm -hmm. ended up being a three-way, <laughs> which I don't think I freaking knew about. <laughs> but it was still fun, yeah. but still. I was like, oh, I meant to the bottom, but... Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so you were into one and not the other. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's see that sucks sometimes when that happens. It's it's unfortunate, but, but luckily he was just topping. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so I was like, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to do anything with <laughs> What um la really quick one last question and then we'll get down to uh getting your solo scene. You're 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 with me for uh two day two or three days at this point. Tonight, tomorrow, Wednesday, we have a couple of scenes. Um what advice would you give? Um, and the reason I ask is because I keep seeing, I feel like they're getting younger and younger. I feel like 17 year olds are like, oh, I can't wait to turn 18 so I can start a fan site page. What advice would you give people that think they're just going to start an OnlyFans or just for fans and, uh, you know, make a lot of money immediately? I mean, if they're twinkish and they're white, they're going to make a lot of money anyways. They're young. They're going to make a lot of money anyways because all these older people are going to mm -hmm. subscribe and want to see whatever they're trying to produce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's just a, that's a bonus for them. But anybody else, make sure your content is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or if it's shit or you're just a tease, you won't make much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. I I. Thank you for saying that in <laughs> regard to, um, you know, if they're 18, white. And young. If they're young, they're definitely yeah. automatically going to make a lot of money. Yeah, I, I, I think that. Because I was going on Twitter, and there's like this 19-year-old. He's really cute. It's like this 19-year-old 
really bad. So like, yeah. Like, does your parents know you have this? Well, yeah, and th- I mean, that's the thing. And I think we live now in the kind of environment where... Sex work is everywhere. Yeah, exactly. I think, you know, on the negative, I think we're over sex. But uh, yeah. as a positive, I feel like, you yeah. know, if we wanted to get into um, another profession, it wouldn't be like a death nail, like a, a nail in the coffin for having done porn before. Because before, if you did porn and they found out, you'd be fired or, mm. you know, it, it didn't look good. But now I feel like it's a little different, so. Yeah, because most porn stars are becoming flight attendants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bartenders, flight Bartenders. attendants, all that stuff. Yeah, handling your food. How does that taste? <laughs> you know, things that they used to say on the porn set. <laughs> yeah, how does that taste? Oh, boy. Anyhow, I know the coffee's finally hitting me. So I, I really want to thank you. I know that I, I kind of, I kind of um, bombarded you with, "Hey, you want to do this? <laughs> Let's do it." Yeah. Um, so no, I appreciate it. And I think that uh, it's always nice to learn a little more about like the people you work with, and I think it's very interesting. I, I wasn't doing this when I met you, but um, I was like, oh, "Okay, he's in town. Let's figure. It. Let's let's talk a little bit." I know. I so, saw some of your podcast videos. Yeah. Yeah, um, they're yeah they're going a little bit of every, everywhere now. I think until fetishes and kinks and all that fun stuff. Uh, just trying to see what people are into. Um, so yeah, so thank you for joining the the podcast and being on the second season. I very appreciated. It's second season. Yeah, it's oh. this is the second season now. Yeah. Um, what? Uh, how can people find you? Um, on Twitter, I am at Bastion Sass. That is B A S T I A N S A S S. Okay. And then on Instagram, I'm just Sassy Boy XO. Sassy Boy XO. The boy has a Y, not an I. <laughs> <laughs> and um, fan sites, how do they find you on? Um, everything is always it's Bastion Sass. Bastion Sass. Okay. And you're on OnlyFans and on Just for Fans. Yes. And, okay. Thank you so much for listening. Like I said, you know, find us on YouTube. Uh, it's Demystifying Gay Porn. My guest this week, Sebastian Valmont. Uh, and uh, yeah, Demystifying Gay Porn with IK Grande. Don't forget that if you've been watching gay porn, I've definitely helped you get off. Cheers. Cheers.